created man. That means God created you and I in his own image. So, do you know how valuable you are to God? Why? Because he made you how? In his own image. In the image of God, he created him, male and female. God made you, he broke the mold. You're something special. The only thing that could buy you back was the precious blood of Jesus. Know your worth because God values you. So God created mankind. Come on, come back. How? Male and female. Mankind, humankind is what? Male and female. Both male and female. And a lot of times people get upset. I wish I was born a man. I wish I was born a female. Stop that nonsense. In the spirit, created in God's image, that's the most important thing. Because God sees you, he sees himself. He made you in his image. So what is the image of God? Where does the scripture say what the image of God is? Well, let's look at John 4, 23. It says, God is what? Spirit. Oh, come on now, come on back. So that must mean if you're created in the image of God, what are you? Most people see themselves as a body. They sum up their life by what they think. But really, you need to begin to repent of that thinking and change your thought life in that regard because you've been created in the image of God. And the scripture says God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him how? In spirit and in truth. Your joy is found in the spirit. He did it all for you so that you could be reconciled back to him. Adam was with God every day. God walked in the garden with him every day. They had a face-to-face -face relationship. But it all stopped when his spirit became dead to him. So at that point, God was already in the move. I'm going to make it right. I'm going to be uh, restoring this one day. And he did through Jesus Christ on the cross. That's how much God values you. You're very significant to God. And as you grasp that, you believe that, you see that in your life every day, you're going to experience such a powerful joy that cannot be taken away from you when things don't go your way. Let me tell you, when things don't go your way, you just stay. You stay fixed in the joy of God. Joy comes in the morning, amen? Weeping may endure for the night, but what comes? You expect a good outcome, honey, because the Lord loves you. He loves you with an everlasting love. And when you get that, you're not valuable for what you do or what you don't do. Did you hear what I said? God doesn't value you based on what you do or what you don't do. God values you for who you are. You cannot find joy if you're moving in pretense. You can only find the joy of the Lord as you move in who you are in God. Joy is literally found. You find joy. You recover joy when you know how much God values you.